Rudy getting Ray. ready. <laughs> getting ready for Rudy Rodriguez Shamat to let himself let off some steam. God, I feel me. like this one's going to be a good one. Oh, I think man. this one's going to ruffle feathers. Rudy, the floor is yours. I love that. That's awesome. I love it. As we, Every show we do, we get better, man. That, 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 that's 1% better every day. I love it. I love it. I made a statement last week about how Patrick Mahomes irritates the hell out of me. And people from all over the place tell me how stupid I am. I, I'm going to be suffering for two more weeks of Taylor Swift bullshit and Travis Kelsey bullshit and, and, and Patrick Mahomes, Kermit the Frog voice on my guy's riot comedy videos. I'm looking forward to seeing them videos again, continue seeing those videos. But let me tell you something. I got to listen to people say Patrick Mahomes played fantastic on Sunday. He did not. Can we stop? Let's stop the bullshit. The Kansas City Chiefs scored 17 points. They scored zero points in the second half of that game. So how did he play fantastic, sensational? He just wasn't as bad as Lamar. He played well for about a quarter and a half. He was hitting them all over the field. They were throwing the ball. He was throwing everything to Travis Kelsey. And Kelsey was catching everything until that last throw of the in the fourth quarter, which was, I mean, realistically, it wasn't actually a very good throw. He just threw it up there and hoped to God and prayed to the football gods that Valdez Scanling had dropped all the balls he's going to drop for the season, and this one will land in his stomach. And I give credit to Valdez Scanling. He turned his body, and that ball landed right in his stomach. But he, but he had to do a like a pirouette or something like that to turn around because he was running. That ball was underthrown. It was. I don't know what defense Baltimore was playing right there. That made no sense. I know they were cover zero, right? They were blitzing. But what the hell is that cornerback doing? Or whoever was covering that dude? Like, you cannot let that man go behind you. Well. And they, and, and they should they blitz up the middle. They should have blitzed up the middle so- to get – so when you're at zero, you're thinking the ball is gonna come out hot, but you have. I'm to sorry, have... Nick. I'm sorry, zero. I'm sorry, Nick. Um, can you please explain to the viewers and listeners what zero means? What zero is? That means it's an all-out blitz. Everybody's fucking coming. They're they're everybody coming in, guns are blazing. They don't give a fuck about shit, and they're coming for the quarterback. You got a gap. You got a gap. You got a gap. You got a gap. We're sending more players than than you can pick up. But as a DB, what you have to have your eye open for, are they keeping somebody else extra in to give the quarterback just a little bit more time? And if I can see that, I know that I'm probably getting a deep route and I probably should get in my back pedal or I probably should get in my fucking um, Usain Bolt shoes and get ready to run because it's coming and it's coming hot. So they made Kelsey stay in on that play. So they, yeah, they did. So they gave Mahomes an extra half of two seconds unless the other person reads that that got Kelsey knows he's staying in the block and he comes in and add off that blitz and it, it, it shortens the time just a little bit. That didn't happen. If that happens, then okay, you can still play zero coverage, like your technique like you normally do. But in that case, they didn't. That means you got you to gotta know the ball is coming. So but it takes a real motherfucker to have pace, to have the eyes ready to see all that and know that somebody's coming at you and the ball's coming out hot or not. So in that certain situation, it's different. So Patty Mahomes in that situation, he's not able to throw, step into the throw sometimes or whatnot because it's zero. But he threw it perfectly for Scantling. I mean, because you don't want to overthrow him or throw it past him because him catching with his hands is probably the worst thing ever. So him having his body able to help him is a good thing. You ever seen Scatling catch with his hands? Yeah, well, no but look at me. Look at him. He fell over when he was catching the ball. Yeah. He lost his balance. He has no balance. Yeah, but it was a tough catch. But they didn't they didn't blitz up the middle. You got to blitz him up the middle, like overload that center guard gap because someone's going to get through. And they did not do that. And no one got near Mahomes on that play. No. Nobody got near him. You know. Like you, how are you in cover zero? No one gets near the quarterback. You can't go on the edges on Mahomes. But they didn't, they didn't blitz up the middle. You got to blitz him up the middle, like overload that center guard gap, because someone's gonna get through. 
and they did not do that. And no one got near Mahomes on that play. No, he, nobody got near him. No. Like you, can't, how are you in cover zero? No one gets near the quarterback. You they can't go on the edges on Mahomes. Hmm? They kept a person in for you know. A chip but nobody down. got near him, and I, I, I mean, I, but outside of that throw, he didn't do shit in the second half. He was, he wasn't good. They didn't score. They didn't move the ball. They moved the ball two possessions, and they got a field goal at the end of that at, at the end of the first half. He was not elite. He wasn't great. Yeah, he was thirty for thirty nine. 240, 242 yards, something like that. 200, 241 yards. Like, that's not elite. His defense was elite. He was not elite. So this blowjob that they give Patrick Mahomes for being Patrick Mahomes, he wasn't great. He was good enough. Well. That said, I'm going to be tortured for the next two weeks. Of the most irritating fucking voice on the planet in Patrick Mahomes and listen to his dorky ass get on camera and try to sound like he's cool because we damn well know he's not he's not a cool dude. Wow. Wow. In real life. If he didn't play football, where he'd be playing Fortnite somewhere. Wow. And um Fortnite, I can't you. huh? Oh, Ooh, I can't the wait. Uh, hey. oh, the, nerd, the nerd congregation is going to come for me. because the gamers Patrick, are look, coming for look, you. Look, Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in football, so don't get it twisted. I'm not doing the Ben Roethlisberger thing where he ain't, still ain't top five. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in football. But he's kind of a dork. He's kind of, he's, kind of the, he's kind of the mixed version of Peyton Manning, a dork. And we know Peyton Manning's a dork. That one drive, they were like nine minutes in the first half. Yeah. So maybe but he, they, for, but he but he threw for one seventy four in the first half. Maybe they adopted your coaching strategy for Mahomes. Maybe, maybe they maybe they got, maybe they did. But I, but maybe you know what? You have I'm a st- book on Amazon for coaching that I don't know about. Not at all. I should write one. I should, I should not. Should, I should write one. You should. You know, because it's gonna said, it's, it's gonna it's gonna involve it's gonna involve getting my backup linebacker to put a helmet under the chin of the starting quarterback and put him in the concussion booth. Wow. But then you'll then you will see how the NFL magically makes that concussion booth disappear. As Patrick Mahomes will be back on the field five yeah. seconds later. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you are you saying that that it's scripted? You know what that being said, I'm sorry. It, I, didn't it, ask it, that. I, I don't believe it's scripted. Yeah. But, 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 but I, I don't believe I don't believe the NFL scripted. I don't at all. But I do okay. believe that Patrick Mahomes gets gifted calls that he doesn't deserve, and people act like this dude is in like four foot four and forty five pounds. He's six four two fifty. He's the size of a truck. Okay. And you can't hit him. I love it. I love it. Rudy's rants is always colorful. We're able to make amazing clips from it. And actually, for me, the most entertaining thing is reading you guys' comments. Oh, my God. You guys don't hold back. I love it. Uh, with that being said, I'm, we're going oh, I'm to... I'm sorry. One more thing. I'm going to share more this thing. with all y'all. I'm going to share thing. this. One more. The last thing. This is the last thing. Before the last thing again. 80% of the people agree with me. They just don't comment. The only people that comment are the ones that want to tell me I'm an idiot. Because the ones that think I'm a genius, they just like to post. Mm, I love that. I love the mic drop. Nick, you see the mic drop? He dropped the mic. I see what he did. 